Hello everyone, this is Claudia. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I know, I know, I know, I know. I have been lazy, but I, yeah, I have been uh, in the last um, month uh, tired and I had to solve some issues. But now we are going to solve this issue. <laughs> um, to describe about this beautiful, beautiful fragrance uh, from the luxurious collection of Boucheron. Um, the name is Rose di Sparta. So this collection is a, of this one precisely, is an oriental floral a fragrance of roses and spices and the collection um, is inspired by gem hunters who created the spirit of the house through their travels and uh, forge the spirit of the house with their travels bringing a wealth of impressions images mood lightning landscapes whatever whatever you know so um this is what contains in, in here uh, then you have uh, the turkish rose the turkish rose is discovered on turkey's mount Taurus, and um her ascent is like uh, the beauty of a semi-precious stone like pink quartz and this um, rose is also known as Damascus rose yeah and this is considered one of the highest quality roses in the perfume industry so that is one thing that you need to know so what are the other ingredients um the perfume it seems that is described something like mysterious and sensual and it is absolutely then you have the frankincense the rose the ginger the cinnamon and saffron and these ones are laid on a base of umber and sandalwood now so far understood right but then you would say well uh, and then uh, this is good for who this is a mix it's a mix of this oriental with some fruity or uh, sweet so this would also is or would also be for the westerners um taste Mostly, I would say, probably Americans would like this the most and um, the sophisticated ones from Europe. I would describe this perfume for mature women. And I would say that uh, women probably would have to be from 40 years old and up because um, younger than that, I don't think is uh, appropriate, not because it's not appropriate, of course, you can wear whatever you want, but it, it would not match. It would not match because this is someone mature, but someone mature with confidence, someone who, who is really self-confident and not the other way around. So if you're going to wear this to give yourself confidence, that is not going to happen. So you need to wear this perfume. Or I would say this is a perfume for a woman who is self-confident and uh, uh, for a woman who is from 40 and up. Um, who likes to enjoy the good things of life, but is still conservative. It's not for the ones 
who are like um, Instagram models or this is for someone uh, as I said conservative self-confident and that has you know that can wear a super big ring or things like that but yeah but it's still a woman that is important it's still a woman is this is not uh, this oriental type of things or perfumes which sometimes um, remember more of a man than uh, a female no this is a uh, this is a female uh, absolutely a female perfume um now the longevity of this one this is immense the longevity of this one is the whole day i mean you can uh, spray it on you at 7 30 in the morning and it's still 19 hours and you will still have it on your skin and if we are very very strict on um, the month of the year this is for the cold weather ones of course you always can wear it whenever you want but um it is important to say it and always um yeah to remind people why is not sometimes it's not so uh, good to wear um, stronger perfumes in summer is because they um the composition with the body and when the body sweats and all that kind of things what you get is something uh, rents i think that would be the word when um when you have an oil that is already the expiration date is already gone long time so that is the problem is not something else it is that you are not going to be able most of the time not always but you're not going to be able to keep the real sense of the perfume when you wear it in summer and it contains um, spicy tones or contains uh, frank incense or contains um, this amber so this is the only reason there is no something else so now you know why not to wear it in summer but of course this is only for the people who have uh, problems i mean if you sweat a lot and your uh, ph is a little bit uh, acidic then is this is just only good for winter and cold weather otherwise it's fine so that would be it for today and um yeah th this is uh, expensive though huh? so but of course uh, it depends on where you live i think in europe um as i said many times you can always have it on uh, really much cheaper than the regular the regular price is 200 euros this one you still can have it uh, i bought it for 100 and uh, you can have it in, on certain websites I've seen for 135 in Spain, 139, something like that. Um, yeah, so then thank you very much and ciao.